It's a beautiful morning here in Newburgh, New York. We're about to commence on an RTU replacement. We got the boys getting situated and ready to go. That's the unit in question. Got a little bit of slippery conditions here this morning. It's about 25 degrees outside, so the roof is frosted over. Kane's here, we're working with Camp Commercial Services out of Walden. He's gonna get his situation all ready, outriggers out and level and make sure it's safe to operate. And we'll start getting the boom into position. The boys are here. Okay. Looking like the abominable snowmen. Well, at least we're warm. Yeah, know? I'm warm too, you big bitch. <laughs> on Maxwell is doing stuff. We got the electrical cabinet open. Our electrician's here, and our new RTU is being backed in on a flatbed right now from RAL Supply Group. This is a commercial building used for the aqueduct project for water headed to New York City. They're tunnel boring under the Hudson River here in Orange County, Ulster County, because there's a crack in the water main. Water main's like 60 inches or something like that in diameter, so they're going underground to repair that. We actually got the opportunity to go into the tunnel boring machine to install split ductless units for the operator's cab for this same company, so pretty cool experience. Take the old one down and we're gonna unrig it, place it on the ground. We're gonna take it to the scrap yard. And we're gonna hook up the new one and kind of reverse the process. Is it going in our truck? Hopefully. We'll okay. see. We'll find out. All right. uh, we might take it apart and put it in, in pieces. I don't know yet. We can show them the new one. This looks way bigger than the old one. It is. Uh, it's not way bigger. It's bigger. But it's, it's bigger, yeah. That's why it comes with the new curb adapter. The new curb adapter sits on the existing curb and it kind of bevels out okay. to allow this to. He's got about six inches to spare. Wow. Doesn't matter. All right, that's it. adapter is getting lifted we're not standing under the load because the rigging points on the curb adapter look like they came straight from China but we have it done correctly and we're gonna set that down on the roof the boys are gonna clear the old weather stripping off on the existing curb adapter that's built in and we're gonna set the new curb adapter adapter on and weather strip it to the roof Sense of you. Okay, you're good. Is he booming down? Yeah, looks like. Oh, oh, oh. You guys looking good over there? Alright. Cable down. Yeah. Going. Come on. A little bit more. Oh yeah, that gas is not going for it. Compensate is in. 
Real simple. Our electrician's coming back with uh, outdoor supplies. Getting our gas ready. One more nipple to cut. Now we can press everything in. Got our hangers up. Luckily we only needed one. We're making good progress. We need new boots. Yeah? Santa's coming. Show them the bottom. Show them the bottom <laughs> of the boots. Oh, man. Oh, mine are probably black, too. Yeah, but mine have red. <laughs> It looks like you got slicks for shoes. I do had slicks for shoes for for months, but they're still waterproof. Yeah. All right. So we got all the pipes cut. Everything's reamed on the inside and the outside, so that the press fitting slide over nice and gentle, so we don't tear the seal inside. And everything's marked with my paint marker to make sure we got full depth of the pipe, so that we don't press incorrectly. And we're gonna start hitting it. Um, doesn't really matter where, but I'm just gonna kind of hold it. So on the Apollo fittings, when you make a good press, these little plastic tabs, they kind of kind of come out. Yeah. So that makes you sure that you got it. We're gonna do this one next. See that? And then you gotta finger fuck it to get the last little bit out. Go down here. We sanded the pipe here because it was a little rusty as long as it's not pitted surface rust is okay that's a cool tool yeah really really handy satisfying every time too make sure you don't pinch your fingers that would be a bad day you ever done that no, because I'm not an idiot. I do some dumb stuff sometimes, but not that. So in order to have a proper drip leg, in this case, we had to come up over and then drop down. Can't go straight in and do that. It's, that's not correct. So we had to do a drop with a drip tee and then go into the unit three quarters. So one by three quarter black iron tee. So we got two more joints to do. Then we're gonna look at them all, make sure that we did every single one. And the union's inside the cabinet. I don't. sensitivity too and don't smell a thing that's beautiful yeah. safety first all right the project's coming to a close low voltage wirings ran through the cabinet and out the other side whoa got some nice tools that i'm leaving behind all nice and neat and we join it to the existing thermostat wire. And now we're waiting for Ray to come and put line voltage to it. All right, back after a hard day's work. It was a great success. Everything fit. The curb adapter that was custom made for the new rooftop unit fit on the existing curb. Everything lined up, more or less. You know, you always have to do a couple tweaks here and there. But I think it went really smoothly. 9.0 out of 10. Nothing's perfect, but it was a really good job today. Everybody did really great. It was fun. I have a good time on these because these are not something that you do very often. At least we don't. We do a fair amount of commercial work, but this is like a once every couple year type of job. And it's kind of interesting for everybody to be able to look into what goes into installing one of these. 
Plus I love heavy equipment, cranes, big stuff is, is great. I really enjoy all that. And I think Ian got to do his first one. I think he enjoyed it also. Obviously Max and my dad and Ray, I think we all, uh, we all did our thing. We got it done in a relatively quick amount of time. So it was a great job by everybody involved. So hope you enjoyed the content and we'll see you at work on the next one.